Millennials have read it, what's the worst baby boomer advice slash wisdom you've ever been offered? Talking to my dad recently, he was going on about participation trophies. When I pointed out that we wouldn't have received, said participation trophies had his generation not invented them, his response was, yep, that's another problem with your generation. Always blaming your faults on other people. You know, your generation doesn't understand that you have to buy a house as young as possible to pay it off quickly. No old man, we get it. We are broke as f making one third of what you do in the same workplace. Ugh, seriously. How in the effort I supposed to put 20% down on a dollar sign 350-400k house? Once I start explaining the numbers to the baby boomers I work with, they're like holy f, how would you ever make the down payment? Exactly. Most baby boomers I've talked to don't even accept the numbers. If I put in a paper application, talk to a manager, put in some hard work, and make minimum wage a plot of land will open up a house, will raise out of the ground and I should be able to support 5 kids. I worked with a guy once whose dad bought his house in the 50s for like $900. I was making $500 a week working in a warehouse when I was 19 and he couldn't understand why I still lived with my mother. When I was in high school looking for a job my grandmother told me to just go to places and fill out applications. She told me it was useless using the internet to look for a job. This was in 2008 and every place I checked for a job had an internet based application. Edit. No one seems to quite understand. You can argue going into a store or calling back is useful to being known or improving your chances at getting a job at some companies. That's great. According to my grandmother, it was pointless to use the internet as a means of finding available jobs. If I were to follow her advice I would go into countless places and ask if they were hiring there. Walk into a place and tell them you want to apply. They tell you how to do it online. Just go to college, even if you don't know what you want to do. F this. My parents convinced me to do this. I've wasted thousands of dollars a year for the past 3 years in college because I don't know what I want to do. At this point I'm just going to get an associate's in general studies and move the F on. You don't deserve to make a livable wage at McDonald's. Get a real job. Followed by. What? Are you too good to work at McDonald's? Grow up and stop being entitled and do what you gotta do. What I really don't get is why should uneducated people at McDonald's deserve to make $15 an hour being said by the same people who scream bring back our manufacturing jobs so that uneducated people can make a living wage. My mother told me to just get a job. Tons of places are hiring. Though, she has come to understand the struggle now as she spends all day applying to jobs and not getting a single call back. Have you tried going in in person and giving them your CV? This was when I was looking for graduate schemes with multi-step application processes, usually CV upload, online tests, phone interview, interview slash assessment day, sometimes second interview. Me walking into the building with a piece of physical paper would not have helped at all but my parents thought it was my fault that I didn't have a job, yet because I didn't do that. <laughs> Babies just need love, not money. Sorry, mom, no grandkids until I have a job with a decent paycheck and less student debt. Love doesn't buy diapers or food. <laughs> I was getting my master's degree and we had a guest lecturer come in. He had been CEO of a small company for many years. He basically told us that he stumbled into the job right out of college because he didn't know what to do and gave it a shot. They gave him the assistant CEO position because he had been the assistant manager at a movie theater for a summer. And then two years later he became the CEO. He was basically telling this entire class of people getting their advanced degrees in the hopes to get his position that he got his job on a whim 30 years ago. Don't take a job unless it gives 4 weeks vacation out of the year. Because that's what someone can get fresh from college. Edit. I guess I can sell the precious gold so I can move to Europe. Thanks. The lab tech at one of the schools I teach at is a retired old fella. Comes in maybe 2 hours a day, real early in the morning, to set up apps for the day. Basically has the job for his own entertainment. One morning he caught me in the hall and somehow got into telling me how I really ought to find a job with a good pension. 
Apparently he worked for some commercial chemistry research lab and retired early once he qualified for their pension program. Then, him and some buddies took some of their early retirement money and bought a big parcel of land. They arranged to have it incorporated into a town that they ran, then sold off pieces of it for housing developments. So, he's going through this little history lesson in how the economy used to work, and I just stand there and nod. In the back of my head, it dawns on me. He thinks I'm an adjunct by choice. He thinks I teach part-time at three different schools with no advancement potential and minimal benefits, because I like it. Hey boomers, the reason why us god danged millennials aren't doing things the way you used to is that those things don't exist anymore. There's no career track jobs in science with just a rms there's no more salary for life company pensions. I can't just go buy me some land and flip it for a profit. Notice how it's always the old folk is talking about company loyalty? That's because loyalty to a single company used to get you benefits, like a pension. Now, company loyalty is 100% in favor of the company. They get a worker who loves the company and who is easier to take advantage of via lower wages or benefits. There is literally no reason for an employee to remain loyal to a company because it gets you nothing. Okay maybe it gets you something. Friend who works at a big corp tells me about their years of service gifts, like 25 years of service gets you a set of golf clubs or something, yippee, but jumping around gets you competitive wages and better benefits. There's much less stigma with switching companies nowadays, and since companies can fire you at the drop of a hat, you should be willing to drop them the second a better opportunity comes along. Learn what you can, stay long enough, to not look like a flake, then leverage your new skills. To get a better job. You'll feel different when they're your own children. Yeah I'm not willing to take that risk. Also I'm poor. My family are very supportive of my choice to not have kids. Except for my aunt that always told me the Swedish equivalent of don't knock it till you try it. Because it's not like it's a permanent human being I'd be creating that I couldn't get rid of willy nilly. My mom encouraged me to walk in and give my resume to the manager at our local grocery store, because seeing you face to face makes a difference thinking it would help. I was given a physical application by a cashier, basically begged to see manager, he showed up, I gave him my resume, shook his hand, he said thank you, but looked annoyed at being interrupted, and went back to work. Few weeks later they hired a new cashier, she was the cousin of one of the people that worked there welcome to the new job market, millennials. Not really advice, but my neighbor was complaining about how useless and lazy millennials are after I snow blowed their driveway today, only it used to be their snow blower. They misused it, broke it, and I fixed it, and I've been doing their driveway ever since. But whatever I'm just some lazy 20 something full time student with a job and enough time to turn wrenches in the garage. I love being told, be grateful you have a job. Then they look on in horror as I explain that I can't afford to live on my own while working over 40 hours a week. I don't get vacations. I don't get sick days. I get absolutely no paid time off, even for crap like Christmas. No time to pursue things I enjoy, no money to see a doctor about my deteriorating jaw. But it's not their problem, you know? They get to walk away from the conversation. As a 30 year old, full time employed man who just spent my entire rent money and borrowed more to have an extremely infected tooth emergency removed, I deeply sympathize. Still not sure what to do about the rent, but it couldn't wait. I guess I'm on the old side of the millennials, but I had numerous people tell me not to go into computer science and instead go into some other engineering field, because computer scientists didn't make good money, wasn't a good job, not a good fit, etc. Glad I didn't listen to any of them as I make a really good salary now. Why the heck would I take advice on entering a high tech field from people who can barely use a computer? You can't get a job in management out of college. You have to start in the mail room. Who are? To get a job in the mail room you need 5 years experience. That'll work for free because internship. And when we have 5 figure student loans. To repay we can't exactly work for free cause. And paid internships don't put food on the table or gats in our cars. 
get at least a master's degree so you can be successful. Sure, a degree helps, but coming out of school with a massive amount of debt is not the greatest thing to do. My parents owned a home when they were 25 and 23. They didn't have to worry about having 40k in student loans. The kicker? I work for my parents and they decide my salary. They know damn well I can barely afford rent, much less a house. Also, my degree has nothing to do with my job, but I had to have it. You have been visited by the distinguished doggo of delicious delicacies. Reply with, tasty supper, papa, and be blessed with delectable dishes for the next decade.